Hi everyone, I'm David Rodriguez. Welcome to Leaning Left. I'm here with another edition of What Have Conservatives Co-Opted, where I talk about something that conservatives have managed to claim for themselves that should belong to everyone. For this one, I had to reach back into the nerdy days of my childhood and my adulthood. Actually, I'm still into all kinds of nerdy stuff to this day. <laughs> so what have conservatives claimed for themselves from nerd culture? This. They've co-opted the Punisher logo. Not familiar with the Punisher? Let me give you a quick rundown. The Punisher is an anti-hero from comic books published by Marvel Comics. His background is that he is a man named Frank Castle who is a veteran of a foreign war. His wife and kids witness a murder in Central Park and are gunned down by the mob. Seeing that the police couldn't or wouldn't punish the mob the way he felt they deserved, he wages a one-man war on crime. Unlike Marvel heroes like Spider-Man and Captain America, the Punisher is very willing to kidnap, torture, and kill to see his brand of justice done. You may have gathered that while he's technically a good guy, he's not a very good guy. He was never meant to be someone that readers should look up to or emulate. Which is why it's disturbing that the symbol he has worn on his chest for decades has become very popular with people on the far right, as well as many police officers. It's pretty upsetting to see that symbol on a bumper sticker surrounded by pro-gun bumper stickers, and even more so to see a cop using that logo. The Punisher, while a great character, is far removed from anything that our police officers should ever be. No one, but especially the police, should see themselves as warriors in a war on crime which must be won by any means necessary. Add to that the alarming problem we have in this country with police officers needlessly using deadly force on black people for either very minor crimes or for no crime at all, and it's a problem. It's so much a problem that Marvel Comics decided to address it directly. In 2019, in issue 13 of The Punisher, some cops come across an injured Punisher and start to talk about a club they created based on him. As a side note, in 2004, a group of officers in Milwaukee actually did form a club using his logo called The Punishers. Anyway, The Punisher sees that they have his logo on a bumper sticker on the back of their squad car. They're shocked when he peels it off and asks him why, to which he replies, I'll say this once, we're not the same. You took an oath to uphold the law. You help people. I gave that up a long time ago. You don't do what I do. Nobody does. You boys need a role model? His name is Captain America and he'd be happy to have you. In 2022, Marvel decided to change the Punisher's logo so their character wouldn't continue to be associated with right-wing pro-violence movements. So here's the thing. Like other things I talk about in this series, I want to take that logo back, but how do we do that? We are going to out-violence them, and we shouldn't. We can't become them to defeat them. So here's what I think we, or more specifically Marvel, should do. Sometimes you have to change something dramatically for a time to regain what you originally loved about something. As a fan of comic books, I absolutely hate massive changes to characters I love, so this is going to pain me. But here's what I think has to be done. The current Punisher has to go away for a while, and someone new has to take up the mantle, and especially the logo. This new Punisher will be an immigrant of a non-Christian religion, be trans, and deal out peaceful but fitting punishments. Everything that the right hates. But only then will that logo be wrenched away from the real world loons to be given back to the original Punisher. It wouldn't even be the weirdest thing they've done with a character. Look up Frankencastle if you don't believe me. So what do you think? Can we take the Punisher logo back? Should we? Do you think my idea will work or do you have one of your own? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time I put out a video. Until then, stay woke, stay vigilant, keep fighting, and remember, if you keep leaning left, you'll always be right.